Okay, I have here a Pile Vintage Victrola. Ah, uh, this just came from Amazon, and the uh, part number is PTCDCS3U1P. Don't worry about having to remember that because we'll tell it to you again later. But this is a beautiful little uh, combination record player, and it also has uh, AM, FM radio, and a uh, turntable. And uh, we're going to open it up now and show it to you. Okay, we've got it out of the box now. This is the horn. It's very nice looking. It's very vintage. This is the instruction booklet, which has the, the connection wires, and you can't see it very well, but this is the little remote that operates it. Okay, we have the uh, Pile Vintage turntable out of the box that it came in. We put the several parts here on the table. This is the classic horn, you can see, that attaches. This is the little turntable, uh, the little arm that, uh, that actually will play the record. We have the other parts, the flange that attach from the back, that attach to the horn, excuse me. And we have the little V or W brace that attaches on the back. It comes with a screwdriver, so you can assemble it and all the screws. Here is the instructions that will show you how to assemble this thing. It's very easy. Of course, if you're a man, you're not going to read this at all, so it doesn't matter. But all the parts are here, and now we're going to assemble the classic turntable. Okay, the first step is to attach this little elbow-shaped piece to the horn. Fits together like this. Then you take this very small little A screw, put it in here using the Phillip head screwdriver. Just put it together like this. There, this section is now attached. So we're going to go to the next part. Okay, now as you can see, I put the screw in here on the top, and when you turn it over, the second screw, the little A screw by the way, goes in the back. So this attaches this elbow sized piece to the horn. So now we're going to be ready to attach it to this elbow piece that goes to the actual player itself. Alright, this is screw C. There's three of these. And these attach this elbow shaped piece to the player. So I've already attached two of them, screwed them in, so I'm going to put this final one in over here. You can see me doing it. I'm using the little Phillips head screwdriver that comes with the unit. I'm putting it in now, as you can see. This is the final one. So this piece is now rigid in place. Okay, now I'm ready to attach the actual horn to this elbow size piece. And as you can see, there's a slot here, so they'll give you a certain amount of play when it's in position. So I'm going to put it in now. I'm going to take the B screw and feed it in here. And using the Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to attach it. Okay. I'm going to set it just like that so it's facing directly forward. Okay, that's attached. Now we're going to take the U-shaped or the V-shaped brace that attaches here and we're going to put that together. Okay, now we've assembled the brace. We've put it into the player. Now I'm going to attach the last screw and this is the second B screw. This screw is the same as this one. So this one goes in here and this finishes bracing the horn to the player. Okay, here's the, the player sitting on a table. Here you have the on and off switch, the power switch, and this is the selector switch on the left here where you can switch back and forth between AM radio, FM radio, uh, tape player, or CD. Okay, we have the, we have the CD. This, by the way, is the music of the London Philharmonic Orchestra playing some music from an old Errol Flynn movie called 
Captain Blood. <laughs> Okay, now you're listening to the FM radio feature. As you can see, it has a little knob here that you can adjust uh, uh, to different stations, but it has the modern little button light here that shows you it's FM. We're listening to a little classical music on the FM station. The fellality is very good. Okay, I'm looking at the side here, and you can see this is a very nice cherry wood console with these little columns on each end and this very nice little speaker uh, design here with this cloth speaker in the center. It's very nice looking. And right here on the side is the slot for the tape cassette. So we'll now insert that. It instantly starts playing. At the top is the eject button. Okay, now here's the attachment that you can use to set up your MP3 player. You've got your regular RCA jacks that go in the back and the adapter is a regular eighth inch that goes into your MP3 player and you can also use this same unit to attach it to other appliances for example like your television if you wanted to uh, play sound from your television. So I'm going to plug in the uh, RCA in the back and the setting is on, will be on phonograph, and then you just hit the little play button on your MP3. So, this unit also has a flash drive portal right here. So these buttons along here are all related to the CD player. These buttons along each side of the uh, digital display are all the buttons for your flash drive and an added feature over here is actually a separate uh, earphone plug so that you can listen to this thing to just listen to it uh, quietly while no one else can hear it. So now we're going to come to the final feature. We're going to play a regular old-time record. We're now listening to an old Arthur Lyman recording of Love for Sale. This is a 33 and a third long playing album. The power switch is in the back here. You have three different speeds. You can play 33, you can play the old 45 little albums, and this is the adapter for the 45, and then even the old ancient 78s, you can even play them if you like. So as you can see, this very nice old vintage looking unit is actually a modern sound system. You can play virtually anything on it that you want. From an old 33 and a third record, you've got your CD player, you've got all your radio channels, you in the back you have the uh, tape cassette player, you even have uh, your uh, flash drive that you can use. So this is virtually any type of music uh, that you want to hear you can play on this one unit itself. This is brought to you by Pile Vintage and the part number is PTC DCS3UIP.